Hello everyone, I'm Alex Romano. Today I am reviewing Oris Noir by Ormond Jane. This is actually going to be, excuse me, itch here. Uh, this is going to be my last Ormond Jane review. I've come to the end of my Ormond Jane journey. Um, it's kind of nice to be ending it on something that's a little bit different from the others. Um, only a few from their collection have really stuck out and this one um, does stick out. I'm not saying that I necessarily think it's amazing, but it does. it is something a little bit different from the others. So, um, it's an Oriental Spicy. It came out in 2006, um, and their description on their website says it's so haunting it defies description. Uh, a lot of the time with Ormond Jane fragrances I've found, I've read about them on their site, and then when I've smelt them I don't think it's really matched up. I wouldn't call this haunting by any means. Um, I wouldn't even really call it noir either. It's definitely Oris, but not so much with the noir. So what's in it? So you've got top notes of bergamot. I've, I've been calling it bergamot this whole time. I thought it was bergamot, but bergamot, bergamot, take your pick. Um, coriander, pink pepper. They love pink pepper. Uh, Artemisia, which is a kind of, kind of nice green herbal element. Um, the heart notes are bay or bay leaf, pimento, uh, jasmine and iris of course, that's what the fragrance is all about. Then the base, um, on paper I really like it, it's guyac wood, myrrh, cedar, uh, incense and patchouli. So it, on paper, yes, you would think yes, noir, but the smell is not really very noirish at all. So. Uh, let me spray it on the stuff. I've been wearing it for three days, so I've really tried to get a feel for it. And what I think is, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Again, you've got this typical spicy opening with Ormond Jane. They, they, like I said, they really love pink pepper, and this one, you can really smell the pink pepper. It has a kind of green um, opening. But then I feel like it's kind of juxtaposed with the heart nose, the iris. Um, and the kind of resinous base it, it just smells a bit strange. It has a it has a real it's going to sound weird, but it has a real distinct chocolatey tone to it, which I don't think matches up with stuff that's in it. It's like a spicy, powdery chocolate, um, which is is all uh, it's okay, I guess. It's just I don't know. I guess it's just a little bit unusual. Um, you can really smell the, the, the resins in the base, which is what where is where it's kind of noirish, but it's not haunting, it's not dark, it's it's nothing like that. It's more powdery than anything, you know. Iris is a powdery uh, note that kind of smells like lipstick, and this does lipstick chocolate spiciness. That's what I get from it. Um, not really, really very herbal. Not really a lot of depth. It's it feels kind of light, even though you have got these heavy notes in the base. So I don't know. It's it's okay. It's just more chocolatey than anything else, and I I don't really like that about it. Unfortunately, sorry. Again, another one that I'm not really loving. So the dry the dry side of it here, um, it's it just gets softer and softer. The iris really just kind of takes hold. The resins do come into play a little bit. Like I said, there is a, a kind of couple of moments where I think, oh that is slightly dark, but still not enough for me to, you know, want to get it, basically. It says it's not for shrinking violets, it's haunting, it's dark, but not really. It is, it is one, like I said, that stands out. A lot of them have had this very light, herbal, spicy tone. The only one that stuck out being different was Tolu, which I really liked, and then there was one that I haven't reviewed because I used up before I did my channel, which was called Ta'if, that was my favourite. Uh, and this one, yeah, is kind of different. But that's it, really. I just It's just kind of a chocolatey feel. A powdery chocolate with some spices and a few understated resins. Um, it's a shame, really, because on paper it sounded really, really cool. It's subtle. It, it's not, it doesn't really project very far, and it becomes kind of like a skin scent after a while, so it's more going to be just for you, it's not one of those big statement fragrances, but I don't think any of theirs have been like that either, so it kind of fits with the same theme. So that's my short and sweet review of Oris Noir by Ormond Jane. This here ends my Oris, uh, my Oris, my Ormond Jane journey. I'm going to be moving on to different niches now, so it's been nice knowing Ormond Jane, but um, 
I'm not really that much of a big fan, so I'm really sorry. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye-bye.